on or about June 12, 2006, during a routine patrol of ancient sites in southern Iraq, members of the U.S. Army's 260th Quartermaster Battalion made what some are calling the greatest archaeological find of all time. Quickly transferred to nearby Talil Air Base, the find was brought to London, where a panel of Near Eastern scholars and linguists were assembled to analyze it. Almost two years later, many panel members are upset. They say the US and British governments have reneged on an agreement to share the discovery with the world. Despite the worst consequences possible, some panel members are talking. The find, which they call extraordinary, and having considerable repercussions for many universally held beliefs, is described as an oblong copper box containing several broken tablets written in Sumerian. Largely unreadable, one fragment scholars have translated tells the story of Ziasudra, the antediluvian Noah. In the surviving 64 lines, Ziasudra warns of another deluge and references made to plans for another ark, a craft intended to aid human colonization of Nibiru, a planet whose orbit brings it in the vicinity of Uranus every 3,500 years. Nibiru will again orbit past Uranus in the year 2012. Insiders say the U.S. and British governments are spending millions on restoration technologies and the discovery has set off a frantic search for more tablets. Evidence on the ground supports these claims. As of mid-March 2008, six copies of the translation have surfaced in various cities around the world. Paris, Amsterdam, Madrid, Aleppo, Karachi, and Tangiers. In accord with their wishes, the throne of kingship had been lowered from the heavens. Rites were perfected, divine ordinances were exalted. In pure places, five cities were founded. The first being Eridu, the second Bad Tibira, the rock was the third and Sipper the fourth. The fifth city was Sharupa, of which I, Ziasudra, was king. These were the cult centers. These five cities were designated cult centers. A clamor came from within the cult centers, a clamor that disturbed the gods. After the cities were destroyed, the cult centers were destroyed. After the deluge, the flood sent to cover all the land, the destroyer of life. And I, Ziasudra, on the high peak of Namush arranged seven and seven cult vessels, heaped with reeds, cedar and myrtle, and brought the offering to the summit to scatter the incense in every direction. And the gods smelled the sweet fragrance. They smelled the sweet fragrance and clustered around the offering like flies. Belit Ali arrived. She held up in the air the great fly ornament Anu had made in his ardor. I swear by this precious necklace of lapis, I shall be mindful of these days and never forget, not ever. When Enlil arrived, my wife and I joined the assembly of gods. He touched my brow and her brow, saying, Hitherto, Ziosudra has been a human being. Now he shall be known as Utan Abishnu, and he and his wife shall become like us gods. Then we were taken far away. To the source of the great rivers we were taken, to the Gihon, Pishon, the Tigris, and Euphrates, in that faraway place we dwell, there, at the source of the four mighty rivers we dwell. Upon our arrival there, at the place beyond all lands, Enlil sent to me, to Utnabishtim, he did say, You, the distant one, shall now do your Lord Yah's work. Once wisdom came from a thin reed wall, you will do the like. Take directions for another, a whole new ship. Inscribe them in tablets of lapis lazuli. Inscribe them on the appointed tablets, then lay them inside a copper box upon reeds and branches of cedar and myrtle. Transfer knowledge, share wealth, 
store them safe far away in the city of the mightiest hero of all who saw what was secret and revealed what was hidden inspect the foundations set forth by seven masters with masonry of fire kiln brick see how its facing gleams like copper in the sun climb the stone staircase look out at the land it encloses admire the gardens shops and temples all of the magnificent places identify the cornerstone look underneath now at that time in those days the world was still anew when Anlu brought forth the tablets the lands had only just dried reed hut reed hut wall wall reed hut hearken wall reflect tear down house build ship give up possessions seek life for swear worldly goods keep the soul alive a new storm looms yet rains do not squall another deluge falls again rushing over the lands heed warning and prepare your family's cross transplant joy of human hearts take refuge in Nibiru's embrace the return of light in the firmament of the heavens it has been 